Hi, I'm Karthik. Welcome back to my Mark Talk channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to detail about uh, make formally integromat. Uh, uh, the powerful module of make called HTTP module uh, where you can arbitrarily make an uh, uh, API request to any platforms which support APIs. Um, API, you can you can input any N API endpoints and uh, get the results and format the results and um, use that output uh, in different uh, other scenario uh, other modules uh, this is like you can you can make all types of records like get post uh, put delete records anything you can do uh, let's start with the simple get request and then i will uh, show you two other requests also uh, this i will do uh, with the uh, with the regular um, AP token authentication uh, for the OAuth 2 dot authentication I will come up with a separate video in the future uh, get request is like uh, I am uh, I have uh, just uh, I am using a CRM called go high level CRM you can uh, you can just uh, I have uh, with this CRM um, you can you can uh, you can uh, you can build many forms in the CRM where you can use it in the funnels and collect uh, customer information through those forms uh, uh, what before uh, for this for the specific case i wish to uh, get the available forms within the crm um, say i have a marketing sorry sites and forms i have right I have like this this much of forms and uh, I want to pull all those forms out of it uh, uh, what you can do you can uh, for the uh, for as per the AP uh, document you need to give, give the authorization and the BRA token with this one uh, you can just uh, put this information feed this information and uh, when I cry when I run this module you can just run this module by right clicking and this module will alone will run and click run this module only see i have got all the data here forms form uh, id and form 12 form 5 form 12 copy everything i have got and i can use this uh, variable in any of the uh, any of the other modules i prefer to use mm, uh, mm. Say if at all I want to uh, collect uh, information, uh, submissions happen for a particular form, then I can make an another request based on this and I can put a filter like if the form name is equals or contains form 10, uh, then I can make the uh, capture that form submissions alone. This way you can use the get request. And the next thing is like get a file. Uh, the thing is like sometimes you may, your client may want to upload a file and, uh, uh, and and, uh, and uh, share that on uh, informations in the onboarding form itself and you may want to upload the file to a Dropbox or like a Google Drive uh, there is a there is a specific uh, um, HTTP request module available just click add module HTTP you can see get a file just click that one and you will you will get this kind of uh, think and you can just put the pdf the, this is the open pdf um, this is the open pdf and you can download it by using this uh, module and then you can use that file output just wait i am done this model yeah i have got the file uh, file name is file.pdf and file size is this much in the data you can see this kind of a binary coding should be available uh, many people confuse like file name as fi uh, uh, actual file file is like a separate format uh, uh, even in even when you use in python or, uh, or any other languages you need to see that there is a file uploading is a completely different part and uh, don't confuse just because you get the file name you can just upload the file file for that file you need to have the binary format of data and then those bytes can, can be uploaded to the different modules see i uh, see i have carefully used here 
I'm I have a Google uh, Google Drive I have connected and this this is the ray output I have given just if at all I put file name it will just make a text file with the file name alone that is not my requirement my requirement is clearly that PDF file itself so I have uh, grabbed this one and uh, fed this data phi dot data variable to uh, this model and uh, once that is done you will see like run this module data it needs it won't work right i can't feed the binary data so what i can do i can just test it by running the complete thing yeah that's it you can see my file is uploaded five web content link right this my file is uploaded in this part and uh, and i have the file id here also say you can just call, uh, use this file id for your future reference or like you can use the web drive web drive where any of this links also so we have uh, gone through the get request file download now comes the most difficult part like the post request making a post request from the google uh, is, itself is difficult and from the uh, make it's it's little bit uh, difficult so you have to get used to it try it uh, try uh, many times so you can find the results say i'm uh, there is a endpoint like for uh, grabbing the custom values custom values are like like um, you can uh, these are like bot fields basically in, in terms of many chat uh like you can have a key and a value feed you can use that value anywhere in the uh, crm you uh, i have uh, i'm trying to pull all those custom values here for this as uh, this header is same as we see in the uh, get request but the body type would be different here like i am uh, i'm uh, sorry here i'm going to make a custom value i'm not pulling all the custom values i'm going to uh, create a custom value uh, say I am having the body type as raw and uh, content type as JSON and application JSON because basically I am feeding a JSON input to this uh, uh, feeding a JSON input uh, mm, uh, as the new, uh, for this request so let's change that request file URL and instead of file name collapse all and google drive link okay web view link you can just drop uh, here and that's it and just click okay ensure you save this scenario just right click and uh, no i can't because this is a dependent module i have to run the entire scenario yeah now i have got the output status is 200 and it has set it is showing me it has set the file url and the value here but i have to check in the actual crm right i'm going here it's not showing i am clicking the refresh I I have to see whether it actually works right. Yeah, uh, not uh, not specific for this CRM. You can use this HTTP module for any CRMs or the platforms you may uh, uh, you uh, where, where, whichever has the AP endpoints available. Uh, you can use the get method as per the as per the go to the api docs and see which type of request we have to give and what is the body uh, type we have to provide and what kind of authorization it supports then you make the request of order i have the file url and the value here so this is how we can use the post request of the http thanks for watching please consider subscribing to the channel let me know in case if you have any queries in the comment section thanks and bye